Okay, all right, Anthony F. Mobile Tech Heat. Here we are inside the, the settings for CyanogenMod 11. Here we're going to take a look at how to, inside CyanogenMod, switch from the Dalvashek runtime to the ART runtime. Welcome to Mobile Tech Heat. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. ART runtime. What are those? Well, if you're not aware, your beautiful Android phone is based off of a code, a protocol called Java. Java runs the internet. If for some reason your bells and whistles aren't happening, if your video isn't working right, if your sound isn't working right, on a website, if you go to work and you use a web app and it's not working right, it probably needs to be updated to the latest Java version because that app, that web app, probably runs off of Java, either 100% or some percentage of it. So inside Android, it's the same principle as Java, Java code, but you need something to decipher the Java code into what we're looking at and what we see. So there's two of them. The older one that they were using uh, was called the uh, Davashek. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, the new version that Google has created is called uh, ART or Android Runtime. Pretty simple. It's supposed to be faster. So, to get to that, let's. Uh, all right, so now we're in the settings. If you haven't already, you have to activate your developer options. So, how do you get to that? Go to About Tablet or about whatever device it is go down to the build number so here it says you already enabled developer settings usually you have to click it a couple of times to activate it it says congratulations you're now a developer then you go back and you go to developer options and in here has all of these cool settings that normally you wouldn't touch unless you are a developer if you're testing your app to see how far you can push it or if just in general you want to tweak your device the best way you can. So now in uh, CM11 slash Android 4.4 have different runtimes. Select runtime right there. So right now we chose Art just to see how it reacts. Uh, previously it was Dalvik. Uh, that is the default. Since the G1 it has been the default, the default rather, for Davik, the runtime. Now we're using Art. When you pick and choose one, it actually tells you what's going on. Let's see here. Reboot to change runtime from libart.so to libdvm.so. That's the question. We already did that. We'll cancel that. But that is how you switch, folks. Um, after you do that, it reboots. Then you get a screen saying updating Android. And it updates like 200 things according to what you have installed. It takes a while for it to get itself together. Then it pops back up. And then you can see if there's a difference. Some people say it is. Some people say it isn't. Uh, some apps are not, uh, uh, what's the word, coded for it yet. It should be backwards compatible in principle, in theory. Some apps, though, won't work with 100%. Some apps might crash until the developers update their app so that it is used or that it is um, recoded so that it will work better under the new ART runtime, Android runtime. So let us know if it works for you. Any tips, what apps do work, what apps don't work, let us know. It's Anthony F here, Mobile Tech Eat.